Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenerz and today it's final time to give you guys a quick rundown and deck tech of my Rograk Tevash Turbo Norse deck. This deck is so addicting to play we nicknamed it Rakdos Cocaine, but don't worry, it will do no harm to you, only to your opponents. So let's go. This deck embodies what Rakdos does best, being fast, being cruel and being reckless. The main strategy of this deck is to cast one of its payoff spells as early as turn 2 and you'd be amazed at how consistent it is at doing that. In order to do that we need a few things. First we need fast mana in the form of rituals, rocks and fast lands. Then we need all the best and cheapest tutors. And finally we need a fairly high density of payoff spells that will basically guarantee a win if they resolve. The few remaining card slots are used for a tiny bit of interaction, some storm enablers and some combo pieces. What about mid-rangey grindy value cards and hate pieces you might ask? Well, you can save those up for another deck. I have a fairly strict policy with this decklist. No hate pieces, no mid-range value engines and almost no cards at 3cmc that aren't a payoff or win con. There is no room in this deck for cards like Opposition Agent, Mayhem Devil, Professional Facebreaker, Grim Hireling, Dalthy White Walker, etc. The only 3cmc spell in this deck that is not strictly a payoff is Birgi, because she makes a ton of mana, makes our storm turns much more reliable and her backside, Harnfell, can easily turn 7 cards into 14 cards after a wheel, or just let you dig through the rest of your deck after an ad nauseum. Ok, so our plan is to mull aggressively, even down to 4 or 3 if necessary, ramp hard and cast a payoff spell as soon as possible. Typical Turbo Norse shenanigans. But what do our commanders provide outside of a Rakdos color identity? Rog Rak is our backbone. Having access to a 0 CMC commander every game enables a ton of cards that would otherwise be a lot slower. Culling the Weak, Jeska's Will, Diabolic Intent, Infernal Plunge, Deflecting Sword, Razakath, Phyrexian Tower, Mox Ember and Springleaf Drum. All of these get so much better with access to Rock Rock at all times, so we can ramp and tutor very aggressively. And what about Tevesh? Well, Tevesh is our backup plan. If you are faced with a Staxi pot or face a lot of blue players that made sure to mull for early interaction, we can pivot into a little bit of a grindier game with Tevesh. Instead of forcing a win, we can sacrifice Thrall tokens to draw 2 cards, or even better, we can sacrifice Rograk to draw 3 cards. We can then recast Rograk for 2 mana and draw 3 more cards in our next turn. Recast Rograk for 4 mana and draw another 3 cards. This quickly gets out of hand and if you pair Tevesh with Skullclamp, you can just draw 4 cards every turn for only 2 mana. Simply make 2 Thralls with Tevesh, equip Skullclamp for 1 mana and draw 2 cards. Do it again and draw 2 more cards. Crazy value. Tevesh might not give us the blue color identity like Silas does, but his value as a card advantage engine is incredible nonetheless. And you'd be surprised at how efficient a turn to win attempt can be if you know that you can follow it up with a turn 4 attempt or also a turn 6 attempt or crazy card advantage from your command zone. There are a lot of variations of this deck, but my list is literally all gas no breaks and plays enough ramp tutors and payoffs to threaten win after win. 3 mana Necropotence, 4 mana Mizzix, 5 mana Adnos, 6 mana Citadel, 7 mana Peer into the Abyss and 8 mana Relicas allow us to be extremely reckless. And on a side note, no, the mana curve is not too high for a Nos deck despite these expensive payoffs. Trust me on this, I've played this deck so many times. If you can resolve Net Nauseam on turn 2, your life total will be high enough to just go through all the expensive cards, it doesn't even matter. So how do we close out the game after resolving one of our payoffs? We usually have to storm a little bit to make enough mana and sometimes tutor for a second combo piece, but that's super easy and reliable to do with all the gas the stack has. The main win con is dual cast a mage plus twin flame for infinite hasty tokens. Twin flame can also be replaced by heat shimmer or saw in half, but the saw in half line needs a little bit more of a setup to kill the board immediately. Alternatively, you assemble Underworld Breach plus Grinding Station to grow through your whole deck and assemble a combo from there. The easiest would be Praetor's Grasp to steal an opponent's Thassa's Oracle or any other win condition. Pretty straightforward and efficient. When you play this deck, keep in mind that it's super aggressive, so you also have to mull aggressively. Don't keep a mediocre 7 and don't be afraid to mull down to 5, 4 or even 3. I've kept 4 card hands and 1 on turn 2. Don't be afraid to go for an early win. The odds of getting it through are higher than you'd think 
and you can always go for a second win attempt one or two turns later. The density of tutors and win cons makes this fairly easy, but you don't have to play all of them. Sometimes Citadel can whiff, despite playing only 24 lands, and Raza can be kinda clunky, but in my experience playing this deck, all of them are good to play without screwing up your turn 2 at nauseam. If you want to cut one of the expensive payoffs, you can always replace it with a Grim Tutor, so you have more tutors to grab the other win cons. And that's it! You can find a primer and a decklist in the description box down below. If you got hyped for this Reckless Rectos Rave, you should definitely give it a shot. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel. Hop over to my Discord server if you want to play some games with us. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can find a link to my Patreon page down below. This is Eisenherz and Auf Wiedersehen.